Hey, what's up everyone, Saint Time Gaming here. Welcome back for another Division 2 build video. Well, guys, today again, I have one of those fun to run builds, you know, weird looking fun to run builds. And today's build is actually pretty much weird looking, to be honest. There's no purpose of this uh, build and how it's actually set up. But the, the thing is, it's pretty fun to use and it's also doing what I want it to do, basically. So for today's I build, I'm actually focusing on a lot of armor like how much armor do you want now you're probably like you know we don't really need much of armor because when we are playing like pve content the npc is going to shred you anyway and you might as well end up using like protection from elites to get protected from elites but what about those red and purple npcs because you're not really getting all the time elites like on heroic missions and such even higher difficulty contents you do get like red and purples so i mean do you feel safe while having a lot of armor? So I tested uh, while making this build and it was pretty hilarious to run actually. It was, like I said, fun to run. So I have a lot of armor. I have 2.2 million armor in this build, but surprisingly the damage is also pretty decent. And I would say decent is a pretty underrated comment, but it's it's actually better than decent. The damage is pretty nice. I'm actually critting for about 450k on my SMG, which is my MPX and the Vector is going about 370 ish kind of thing when i'm solo and of course when i will be on a group uh, i will get a little bit of group like damage bonus buff or whatever damage to target out of cover whatever the group is giving me i'm going to be doing a little more damage at that time which is really nice but yeah i tested this build on solo um you know doing heroic missions and control points and also in group uh you know heroic missions and stuff because i always test builds with like uh, group and solo if it doesn't work then i will definitely not going to make a video but if it if, if it works and it's actually fun then i will definitely gonna make this and also i play with like random people when i when i do like group matches because i feel like if i play with like friends and clan they do kind of want to help me in a way and i don't really like that i feel like playing with the randoms is the best way to test your builds uh so you can test your damage and also you can test your survivability uh because there's a little bit of competition going on so so that's pretty fun so uh, what's going on in this build okay let me show you the build over here real quick as you can see this is the build now seriously it's pretty weird looking and there is literally no purpose of this build but actually there is no pr i mean there is a purpose of this build it's just fun it's fun to use this you can see i have 2.2 million armor um i got two smg set up here i did try it with the scorpio shotgun but the crit was pretty low on the shotgun um so you know it wasn't really i mean it was hitting hard but i'm not really critting that often which was which wasn't that great um now i can tell you what you can actually do to kind of like interchange this build swap few pieces here and there to maybe increase your damage if you don't want this ridiculous 2.2 million armor just for the looks basically now i do have a lot of crit and a lot of crit damage as well i mean by a lot i mean about 150 uh but yeah it's still kind of good with 2.2 million armor uh you are actually hitting pretty sweet like i said you know uh, you can pretty much see the damage numbers it is actually really nice uh so yeah i'm pretty surprised like how it's actually working now i'm using the gunner specialization mainly for the armor on kill uh survivability in this build is nothing apart from the memento uh, i was actually using a grupo backpack to increase the crit damage by a lot uh, i mean not a lot like 15 percent plus you know 12 percent of crit damage like attribute because uh memento backpack will not going to give you any sort of attribute you know crit chance or crit damage so you do sacrifice those two attributes but uh you do gain weapon damage bonus armor and at the same time like armor region three percent which is i would say way better um i mean as a trade-off apart from using a grupo backpack or any type of a damage kind of talent backpack you know so i would say memento is a better choice there so th that's why i'm gonna go with memento because that's actually keeping me alive a lot uh because even though i have 2.2 million armor when the npc focus you you will go down because i mean they do a lot of damage doesn't matter if you have 12 2 million or like 20 million armor it, it doesn't matter they're going to kill you so i got two smg set up here i'm using the mpx it's not a greatest mpx but i do have all the attributes which i want like smg damage crit chance and you know uh, damage to target out of cover i rolled killer here at first i was trying with like in sync um and using a drone like a striker drone instead of a shield but it wasn't really that effective so i felt like yeah it with the killer and the shield is fine and you're probably gonna say you have 2.2 million armor you still need a shield i mean yeah i do because uh, the npc hit a lot man seriously like you know they they do a lot of damage so 
but yeah, that's um, that's pretty much it. My first SMG. The second is my Vector here, and it actually do a lot of damage as well with that crazy RPM twelve hundred. But I have both with Killer Talent here. You can choose whatever you want. You know, it's totally up to you. You can use a Lady Death if you want to, because that's gonna do a lot of damage with that multiplicative damage Lady Death that uh, you know it hits. Uh, now I have two pieces of badge tough. Now the reason why I went for two pieces of badge tough and not using any shotgun is because of that five percent total armor. Now remember, the main goal of this build is to have the highest armor as possible. So that's why I use the two piece of Bajatov. And uh, yeah, you can see I have armor, crit chance, crit damage, and crit damage mod. Um, the second piece of Bajatov is my gloves with crit chance and crit damage rolled on it. Uh, and I have a one piece of Gilogard, which because, you know, 5% total armor. And unfortunately, I don't have any crit chance here, but it's fine. It's an SMG build, so you don't lead, need a lot of crit chance, So uh, which is all right. Now I have Intimidate talent here. and uh, you know, just because of the 5% total armor using Gilogard. Okay, uh, now I have two pieces of Foundry Bulwark here because of that 10% total armor. So that's the only reason uh, I'm doing that. Now, I could have gone for, let's say, three-piece Golan. Uh, that will improve a little bit of armor region because three-piece Golan will also going to give me like 5% um, uh, total armor. But then that's just... 5% total armor. Now, if you see uh, with one piece Gilogard and two piece of, uh, you know, Foundry Bulwark, I have 15% total armor. So that's actually better than having three piece golden gear. So that's why I went for this combination and that is making me have 2.2 mil armor, which is absolutely funny. Uh, now, if you want, you can do some changes in this build. You can go for like three piece badger tough if you want to, if you want to use a shotgun, but then the crit on the shotgun will be kind of low. Uh, if you don't want to use the momentum, I don't know why, but if you don't, if you want, you can use, let's say a Grupo backpack, like I have it this one, Grupo. Um, I, I will get 15% crit damage and I have Bloodsucker talent. I also have one with Adrenaline Rush, so whichever one you prefer you can go with that and that will bring your armor down to 2 million but then it will give you a significant boost on your crits so you will be hitting quite harder uh, from the start but when the momentum buff is active you're actually going to do more damage than the grupo plus you have a lot of survivability with that armor region and the bonus armor uh, so you know overall momento is a better choice so that's why i'm actually sticking with it. so that's pretty much it the build now let me show you my crit here as you can see a 51 percent crit chance I know you're going to say it's low. Now, let me tell you why it's low. First, I don't have crit chance on my chest piece. If I had it, that's 6%, so that would be 57. Plus, my SMG doesn't have maxed out. So I'll be capped on 60, like crit chance with this with this particular setup. And I have 144% critical hit damage, which is, which is kind of all right. And I don't really expect it to be that crazy high with a build like this with 2.2 mil armor. The most important thing with this build is that it's actually doing quite good amount of damage. I mean, it's not crazy, but yeah, you can see the damage numbers. I am critting for about 420 to 450k. And uh, when the killer talent and, you know, the memento trophy like buff all the way active with the intimidate, I am actually critting that high uh, with the MPX, which is absolutely hilarious with while having, you know, 2.2 million armor. And remember, whenever you pick up the trophy of the uh, memento, I'm actually getting 60 percent of bonus armor because I have six blues on this and. And that is giving me a lot of armor with that 2.2 million. I'm pretty much a very like tank. Uh, at the same time, I'm critting and doing a lot of damage. So yeah, it was a pretty fun. I mean, uh, when I do get focused by NPCs a lot, I will lose a lot of armor. Um, but in the end, I do have the damage to actually kill them and then get back uh, the armor. I, I lost, you know, as a bonus armor and also a bit of 10% like armor on kill. So yeah, that's how I'm kind of using it. It's just a fun to run build. If you want to try it, you can try it out. Um, now, I would say one thing when I was making this build, the sweet spot, which I felt uh, while having a perfect balance between damage and armor, that was 1.7 million. So if you want, you can actually keep it like that. And that way you will do very nice amount of damage. You will be critting about 550k. Uh, with your SIG MPX if you use that weapon and you have of course 1.7 million armor so that's actually a sweet spot but I just did it just to have fun and see how it goes and and how can I like how long can I survive or how much damage I can do with 2.2 mil armor and so it's just you know it's just fun that's basically the point of this I'm doing it so yeah that's uh, pretty much it the build and I hope you guys enjoyed it and yeah that's pretty much it for the video and I will see you guys in the next one till then peace